Hi, I'm Geneva Trotter. I'm working with Professor Ian Baker and I'm studying metallic materials and I'm a starting my second year at Dartmouth. So I'm trying to create this new alloy because we recognize that we're going to be using fossil fuels for a long time. Like if you look it up, about 50% of the energy used in the U.S. is coal and we know that, yeah, there's going to be more green alternatives in the future, but we need to work on what we have now. And we do know that even in the future, we're still going to be dependent on coal. And with that in mind, we want to try to increase efficiency of power plants that currently use coal to produce energy. And we know that we can do that by um, making the materials that we have in power plants stronger, more resistant to corrosion in the like really harsh high temperature environment. So our goal is to try to work towards that process of creating a new material. And our professor had a great idea of possibly looking at an intermetallic lava phase to do that. In the past, um, we've noticed that the lava phase coarsens over time, so it's not a good candidate. But recently, there have been a new discovery of something called alumina-forming austenitic stainless steels, and it provides a nice coating on the surface of an alloy that helps prevent corrosion. And we're trying to not just use something called carbides that are normally used to strengthen materials, but these lava phases to really improve the um, high temperature strength of steels that could be used in the future for power plants. What I do is I start from commercially pure elements and I combine them, load these in the copper crucible and take them to something called an arc melter that melts all these metals together so they'll be uniformly mixed. So I have that metal puck that I originally melt and then I cut it up into pieces and then I take those pieces and then I polish them and grind them down so I can look at them in the microscope and see what we have. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just putting together different alloying elements and seeing if we can get a desired microstructure that could we could further research and test and do creep tests on them and see if we can kind of do what we need to do to get the strong steel for the power plants in the future.